If you are watching this, it means that you're probably one of those strange people who always watches the DVD extras in order to find out how films were made. Well, I'm going to disappoint you and tell you how exactly how not to make a film. <laughs> this is a prime example of how not to make a film. As you can see, the camera work is not very good, the editing is below standard, and in general it's just terrible. So, ah, there, notice that. Suddenly you saw the dagger instead of the great sword that is normally in the fight. This is obviously a mistake. Now, watch carefully to the grass in these clips. The grass changes colour. It's worth noting because this is because we used two different cameras, both of which decided to look at the colour green in a different way. You almost might want to note that all the fangirls are the same as other characters. This is due to a lack of actors. Um, as you can see, this is one of the best conversation scenes because we have managed to get many angles using two cameras at once. Of course, we couldn't keep this up because A, we couldn't be bothered, and B, the batteries would run out as they did on one camera. <sighs> Look at the light on Sasuke's face in this play in, in this clip. You just can't see her facial details at all. <laughs> yes, Sasuke. <laughs> so Ah, these clips were actually filmed on two separate days, as you can tell by the amount of light and the position of the mess on the floor. Um, as these clips are pretty stationary, but watch when the Doctor appears. But instead of watching the spot where the Doctor appears, watch the other two characters. They move about half a foot. Now, yes. This is because of bad editing yet again. Now, in the following sequence, and I hear an explorer shout to me from far away. We actually did this clip twice, and there is another jump about the half a foot again as well when it comes. And the first time, you couldn't actually hear it on the camera. Yes, I think it's about to come up just about now. Yes, there it is. And the light has apparently changed. This is the same camera, surprisingly. Just different time of day, I suppose. Um, yes, as you can see, the editing software isn't powerful enough to avoid jumps every once in a while, so that's what that is. Um, here you can hear some serious wind noise. Now this actually cuts off half the conversation and there is another one of those rather strange jumps. Uh, this sequence is far too dark as you can tell, but now it's suddenly brightened. Isn't it nice when someone turns the sun on? Now. Listen to me laugh at Justin. He is such a ridiculous outfit anyway, it's no surprise. Now, you may have noticed so far that the sound of a kind of mystical sound and quite a few other sounds are missing from this version. This is because the editing software I used only had one sound line, so in order to include this narration, I had to get rid of all the inf all of the um, other sound effects. 
flux. <laughs> Just had to do that one. I recorded the word flux afterwards, which is why it sounds weird every time you hear it. So, um... Brilliant seeing this. <laughs> right. Uh, this clip has not much wrong with it. <laughs> Probably one of the few clips in the whole thing that doesn't. Watch the shaking camera. It happens in most clips. Now, this is amazing because a, a fairy appears and then two people also appear straight afterwards. The fairy never appears again except for before and afterwards as Link. Oh, that guy must have been the one who caused the problem. As you can see, we had attracted an audience by this point of several people. Now, unfortunately, due to the lousiness of a particular piece of footage, you don't get to find out that those two boys assisting us are Sasuke's ninja minions, who we have forgotten the names of. Thank you to the ninja minions for participating. Um, this battle scene should have been much more multi-angle, because you cannot tell what any one person is doing and you just get confused. So this is why we had to include this particular editing bit of title. Now, um, this is quite actually a good piece of footage for a defeat battle, except you can hear Emily in the background, thank you Emily, and Link appears out of nowhere to exa act exhausted with the rest. I actually secretly tell Jenny to say that particular line, but you can't tell because I talk so quietly. Um, I hate anticlimaxes too. 